Hi everyone, my name is Urban Fasel and today I'm going to talk about our recent work uh, Ensemble Cindy, robust sparse model discovery in the low data high noise limit with active learning and control. This is joint work uh, with Nathan Kutz, Bing Brunton and Steve Brunton. And you can find our preprint on uh, the archive and the code is already implemented in the latest version of the PyCindy uh, package. All right, so eCindy is an extension of the Cindy algorithm that tries to uh, robustify uh, the model discovery, especially in the low data and high noise limit. And uh, in this short video today, I will first uh, review the Cindy algorithm and then talk about our extension and show some first uh, results. All right, so most of you that follow Steve's YouTube channel might be familiar with uh, the Cindy uh, algorithm or the sparse identification of nonlinear uh, dynamics. So uh, the Cindy algorithm is a model discovery uh, algorithm that tries to identify uh, models that best fit uh, nonlinear dynamics uh, purely from data. So for example, in the case of uh, the Lorentz system, we start with uh, collecting data. So we collect a, a time a series of data. We use this then to uh, compute the time uh, derivatives. And we then also compute a large library of uh, candidate nonlinear uh, functions. So uh, functions that we believe could describe our unknown uh, dynamics of interest. And then after computing, these uh, derivatives, time derivatives, and this large library of candidate uh, nonlinear functions, we solve a sparse uh, regression uh, problem to find the fewest active terms in our dynamics. And we can do this, for example, by using a sequentially threshold at least squares algorithm where we sequentially solve a least squares problem and then threshold coefficients that are below a certain uh, sparsification parameter that we defined beforehand. All right, so this is uh, Cindy. Now, the challenge with uh, Cindy, not just with uh, Cindy, but uh, with all model uh, discovery uh, methods is that they tend to be very sensitive to noise and especially in uh, the low data limit. So it's very difficult to find accurate sparse uh, models if our data is highly noise corrupted and if we only have very little data. Then uh, second, uh, when we use Cindy, we identify a deterministic model. And oftentimes we're interested in the uncertainty or an estimate of the uncertainty of our model coefficients. So what we would like to have is a Cindy algorithm that is more noise robust uh, that also uh, generates or identifies a probabilistic uh, model. And in this direction, there are some recent extensions of Cindy that uh, deal with this. So for example, in terms of uh, robustifying Cindy, the recent integral formulation uh, or also ensembling methods were introduced. And in terms of uncertainty, uh, some Bayesian sparse uh, identification methods were recently introduced. And in our work with eCindy, we unify and extend uh, these methods. So we use ensembling to uh, robustify uh, Cindy and we exploit the ensemble statistics to produce or identify probabilistic uh, models. All right, now, so what do I mean with uh, ensembling? So instead of using our data and building or identifying a single Cindy model, we can take bootstraps of our time derivative matrix and uh, library uh, matrix and uh, take these bootstraps and build an ensemble, so multiple Cindy models. And with bootstrapping, we uh, mean random sampling with a replacement and apply to Cindy where we have um, m samples in time that represent our m time steps uh, that uh, we measure, we would uh, sample m new rows with replacement from this original uh, data and then generate n bootstraps and identify n Cindy models in the ensemble. So instead of just uh, identifying a single Cindy model, we uh, take n bootstraps of our data, we build n Cindy models, and then we can basically exploit the ensemble statistics to find uh, coefficients that are unlikely uh, to appear in our dynamics. 
we cut them off, and then we aggregate a final ECND model. So for example, we could then take the mean or the median of uh, our identified uh, model coefficients in the ensemble to find a final uh, CINDY model or ECINDY model that best describes uh, our uh, unknown uh, dynamics. And what is really nice about uh, this method is that we get uncertainty in the coefficient. So we don't just get a single model, but we can uh, get uh, model coefficient distributions and also we get inclusion uh, probabilities uh, of our coefficients. So probabilities of uh, how likely will a certain coefficient appear in uh, our uh, models uh, of uh, the ensemble, so in the ensemble of our uh, identified CINDY models. And what we can do with this is then to run ensemble forecasts that provide confidence intervals of our forecasts. So our eCindy method connects to sparse Bayesian inference as we identify probabilistic uh, models. And the great advantage uh, of our eCindy method is that it's extremely computationally efficient. So compared to, for example, uh, Markov chain Monte Carlo based methods that can easily take several hours to identify a CINDY model, our uh, eCindy uh, method can identify probabilistic models within seconds. All right, so with eCindy, we can uh, robustify the CINDY algorithms and identify um, probabilistic models that can be used for ensemble or probabilistic forecasting. Now, in our paper, we uh, apply uh, this new eCindy method to a range of challenging problems. So for example, the first one is where uh, we try to uh, discover an ODE uh, only based on 21 experimental data points. So we take uh, uh, links and hair uh, pelts measurements that were uh, measured between 1900 and 1920. And with eCindy, uh, we are able to identify the Lotka Volterra dynamics with only these 21 experimental uh, data points. So we can identify uh, models in the very low uh, data limit. Then we also apply our eCindy me method to uh, discover uh, PDs. And here we show that we can robustify uh, the PDE model discovery by using uh, Ensemble CINDY. So we show this on a range of uh, PDE data sets. And uh, in our paper, we show that by using Ensembling, our method only breaks down with twice as much noise as if we wouldn't use Ensembling. So we can clearly show that by using Ensembling, we can robustify uh, the model discovery of uh, PDEs. All right, uh, then what is also really interesting and what we show in our paper is that we can uh, also exploit the ensemble statistics uh, for active uh, learning. So oftentimes, or actually always, it is uh, very time consuming and expensive to run experiments or run uh, simulations. So uh, we are interested in efficient uh, exploration. So basically trying to uh, only run experiments or simulation that maximally inform our model discovery. So we don't want to randomly perform a set of experiments or simulation, but we want to uh, efficiently explore our uh, future space to only run experiments that uh, maximally uh, inform our model discovery. So that really help us to identify accurate and sparse models. And to do this, we can uh, use eCindy, so we can exploit the ensemble statistics to uh, find and explore high uncertainty regions in the future space. So instead of just running uh, a random set of experiments and building a single uh, CINDY or eCINDY model, we can iteratively identify eCINDY models to improve the data efficiency of the model discovery. And what I mean uh, with this is, so for example, we could start with only running a very small set of experiments or simulations, and then use this small data set to build a first eCINDY model. And then we use this eCINDY model to find out where we have the highest uncertainty in our future space. And we can do this, for example, by saying, if we take again the Lorentz system dynamics, we use our CINDY models and we run a set of ensemble forecasts starting from different initial conditions. And then we compute the ensemble forecast variance 
and uh, find the initial condition or the region in our future space with the highest uh, uncertainty. And then we only sample the true dynamics at this exact uh, initial condition. So we only uh, run an experiment that maximally informs our model discovery. And we show that by using eCindy for active learning, we can reduce the variance uh, of uh, our identified model coefficients, and we can improve the data efficiency of the model discovery uh, algorithm. So we can basically find more accurate models with uh, less training data or with running less experiments. All right, then uh, the last uh, example that we show in our paper is where we uh, apply eCindy to uh, identify uh, models that also have external inputs or uh, control inputs. And these models can, for example, be used uh, in a model predictive uh, control uh, framework. And in the paper, we show that by using Ensemble Cindy, we can get more accurate controllers with less training data. Uh, so basically, we can get uh, better control uh, faster. So we don't need to train our models that long, but we can get very quickly, very accurate controllers by using uh, eCindy. All right, so uh, to summarize, uh, eCindy improves the robustness and accuracy of Cindy, especially in uh, the high noise and low data limit. eCindy produces probabilistic models in seconds uh, compared to existing Bayesian methods that can take uh, several hours. And finally, we can also exploit the ensemble statistics to, uh, uh, for active learning and for improved, more accurate uh, control. All right, so uh, again, uh, you can find our uh, preprint on uh, the archive and uh, the code implemented in the latest uh, version of the PyCindy package. Thanks for listening.